Juneteenth is an emancipation celebration experience. And it happens, um, there's lots of activities that go with the celebration of Juneteenth. Some people have Juneteenth picnics. Some people have Juneteenth parties. There are even Juneteenth runs, a 5K run or a 4K. People have um, uh, contests where there is one appointed to be Miss Juneteenth or Mr. Juneteenth. And there are fireworks and there is uh, just a lot of family togetherness. Juneteenth is about celebrating and it's embracing your family heritage and culture to mark and pay tribute to those who were enslaved, but yet they survived slavery. And so one summer I was um, with my family in Texas and I was, um, in an area, a lot of people don't really know about this area. Most of the time we would be in what they call Ferris, Texas. But sometimes we would go to another area called Combahee um, and we would go, uh, it's Me Mex Hair, Texas. And there, oh, they do Texas real big. And so I was there with my cousins and one of my aunts is a dance instructor. And she actually taught um, at a, a university in Texas. Um, and so she had, would get young ladies together and she would teach them some steps, but she would also have us recite things. And, you know, everybody was excited because uh, Juneteenth was going to be that weekend and people were going to be in the parade. And so I came about two weeks early. And my aunt asked me, did I want to participate in the Juneteenth uh, parade? And I, she says, I'm positive, you know, we're only going to do one dance. I'm going to do it over and over, but you will enjoy the experience. I think you can learn. Well, let me tell you, I was concerned because in the summertime, I carry an inhaler. And I was thinking, how am I going to make it through this parade? Well, I sat down with my aunt. And to know that uh, becoming a participant in a Juneteenth parade was a big deal. First of all, the Central uh, Texas uh, Juneteenth Committee said that each participant in the parade had to have a registration form. So it has to have your name and the contact and your address and all of that. But then it asked some other questions because they had to know what category are you going to be in. So definitely we weren't an equestrian group, but we didn't want to be, we weren't vehicles going to roll and, and look pretty, nor were we a nonprofit or a commercial business. What we were going to be was check the box for marching band and dance teams. So for each category, each individual you have to know, do you want to participate in a float contest? How many people are going to be in your entry? Are you guys going to be walking or riding? Are you going to have music? Yes or no, or live music? Yes or no. I was thinking, oh, they got to know all of this just for us to walk and dance in a parade. My aunt said, honey, we have to be very organized. We give this all that we have because we give this celebration the utmost importance. And we have to make sure that we are following all of the rules. One of the things I noted then was that the music could have no profanity or any sexual in the windows. However, the other thing they needed to know was, are you gonna be on a truck tractor or from tractor? Were you gonna be in a pickup truck, a car or a van? Then they needed to know if you were gonna be pulling a trailer, was it gonna be a four wheel flatbed trailer or was it gonna be a two wheel flatbed trailer? I was thinking all these questions, I just cannot believe it. All we dance in the parade. But my aunt said this, we have to be clear because we have to be our best and do our best. 
And I was thinking, okay, this is gonna be fine, I'm with you. So then there were other rules and regulations that had to be read to every participant. And then we had to make sure that we filled out a waiver for insurance liability in case something could happen. And I'm still thinking as, as a teenager, whew, all of this to be dancing in a parade. So even though I sweat through a lot of practices and I had a Charlie Hearts or two, the day of the parade, oh my goodness, we were up early. We got our hair done. We had June team shirts, white shorts, white tennis shoes, and bobby socks. And the bobby socks had the same colors, red, white, and blue, as our shirts. And our shirts even stated our names on the back. This was so cool. So what my aunt had checked the box was that we would ride and that we would walk. And thank God she did that because I would have never made it through the whole parade walking. However, our music was a lot of Michael Jackson music. And we danced and we uh, celebrated in the parade. I want you to know I never seen so many Black people in one place in all my life. Going to the celebrations was one thing, but this parade route was two and a half miles long. And it was people everywhere. And they were waving and hollering and telling us we look beautiful, or we're doing good, or shake it, baby, or do that thing. It was so cool. But I do want you to know that at the beginning of the parade, the parade marshal had to recite the Emancipation Proclamation, which was a declaration that Abraham Lincoln formulated with a bunch of signatures so that the slaves would be set free in the Southern states. Once that happened, then group after group, there were people on skateboards, people on skates. There were horses, there were people on these funny looking bikes. There were people dancing, people uh, doing gymnastics in the street. I mean, anything you thought in a performance could happen on the stage happened in this parade route. And then there was this one place where you kind of stopped for a few where you were being judged for your showmanship your professionalism and your costume. So let me tell you why this was the best parade ever. Our dance team won in our division. It was so fascinating. I couldn't believe it. I hung in there. I shook my shoulders and I shook my hips. And I knew that my parents and my cousins and my grandparents were so proud that I participated in my first, and now I'm gonna tell you my only Juneteenth parade. And that is why it was so important to me and why it is the best experience I've ever had. And I want you to know that in Texas, in com large communities and small communities, no matter how big the parade is, lots of people participate in parades and they even have Miss Juneteenth sitting up beautiful with her Juneteenth tiara and a convertible car doing the princess wave. I will forever cherish this memory of my experience at Ellis, Texas Juneteenth Parade.